Participatory economics, or PERICON for short, is the name of an economic model. In other words, a set of key institutions for a different way of doing economics. So economics is production and consumption and what's called allocation, moving the stuff around where it winds up. Um, and in thinking about a different kind of economy, what one has to do is to conceive of different institutions to accomplish those functions with different results. Well, what, what different results? Well, when we thought about it, we sort of thought, well, what do we want an economy to achieve other than to produce stuff that benefits people? And what we decided is an economy affects relations among people. And we'd like the economy to cause there to be more solidarity instead of more antisociality, sort of more empathy instead of hostility. We'd like more diversity instead of homogenization. We'd like it affects the, the, the say people have. We'd like people to have more say instead of less, but more accurately, I think we'd like self-management. We'd like people to have an influence on decisions in proportion to the degree they're affected by them, all people. So we should all be self-managing. We'd like equity. We'd like the distribution of the product to be equitable. To us, that meant that it should be uh, dispersed for how long people work, for how hard people work, and for how onerous the conditions are under which we work. This is, these are very different values than what persists in current economies. And then we thought about, well, what kinds of institutions could fulfill these values? Not a blueprint of every feature, right? If somebody describes capitalism to you, they're not describing every feature of the U.S. or of Germany or of Sweden. They're describing the key institutional features. Corporations, corporate division of labor, markets, private ownership of the wealth, um, remuneration for bargaining power, output. These are the key defining features of capitalism. So what we needed to do is to come up with alternatives to those. Um, that still get the economic job done. And that's what PERICON is. And so it's remuneration for effort and sacrifice. It's workers and consumers councils with self-managed decision making. It's something we call balanced job complexes instead of a corporate division of labor. And it's participatory planning instead of markets or central planning. And the claim is that this combination of new institutional features gives you an economy, not a whole society, just an economy, an economy in which in the act of doing the production, consumption, and allocation, you simultaneously enhance solidarity, increase diversity, generate equity, real equity, and generate self-management, instead of obliterating all of those. It's a classless economy. It's what I think anarchists and socialists at the base, the grassroots level, have always wanted, um, had always aspired to, while movements have been formed which have structurally um, denied those desires and created instead structures that violate those desires. I like to think, I hope it's the case, that this new economic system is consistent with those desires. So how